But we're we're basically done with the uh, Dragonflight Plus chain. Woohoo! That's awesome. Okay, talk to Alice Jaza. Embrace hope. The balance must be maintained. Campaign complete. We did it. World quest unlocked, adventure mode unlocked. You can, your future characters can do Dragon Isle zones in any order and access world quests immediately. Aid the factions, gain renown with major factions of the Dragon Isles and prepare for the conflict ahead. Wow, so we did it. Sick. Grats is fanned. Nice. So we're not level 70, but like, we can we can just burn through to, to level 70 super fast now. That was super fun. But so what'd you, Bonnie, what'd you think of uh, your first retail WoW experience? I, I actually really did have a lot of fun. And I think it's been surprisingly good. I legitimately, this is the first time in like 10 plus years that I've thought a current expansion's leveling has been good. Cause I was thinking back on it a little bit earlier and I'm like, damn, I don't think leveling in this game has been good at all since maybe Cataclysm was okay. I mean, there's even things I don't like about like vanilla yeah, burning. Yeah, this is the fatigue. best. This is actually, I, I, you yeah, can make an I, argument that in a lot of ways this is the best. I think I'm gonna uninstall Classic. Well, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but I feel like when it comes to leveling, I think this, I mean, you have the small wins where like you're leveling constantly, you're getting the talent points, you have a constant feeling of progression. A lot of the things that make Vanilla leveling good. Uh, it's it's very short. It's very fast, but uh, I don't think it's too fast, and I don't think it's too slow. Like I feel like the pacing is perfect. Like it doesn't. The only the only zone that felt kind of slow, comparatively comparatively. Excuse me. I feel like the Onoron Plains. There was a stretch of quest that felt a little slow. It was in the Azure Span. I don't, there was a there was a small stretch of quest that felt kind of slow. Spent. You can't really tell if, if an expansion is good or not, good or not, in the first week or day. Maybe in the first month, we will see. But so far, it's like you can see like the. It, this is like a. a tangible thing that we can take away. This is like a, a, a tangible visualization. The cog wheels are finally turning and Blizzard's finally starting to figure it out after so long of trying to fix their game. Is it bad if you're having fun but you don't have enough to do if you're playing six plus hours a day? See, that's, what, that's what's- so much time. Yeah, that's what's funny is like, for people who like want to, to grind, it's like, why well, can't grind? You know what sucks? What? Because in retail, when you change your hair color, it doesn't Seek change your, my statue your in the druid color, span, your and we shall cat form, or your travel you form. Is it not? No. Wait, that's yeah. actually kind of funny. Does it not change? When you change your hairstyle or your hair color in, in retail, does it not change your, your... Oh, you can change it separately now. What? Yeah, yeah so I guess you, change, you can still change it separately. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Why'd they get rid of that? I think there's a chance, chat, that the meta ends up being, because I'll be honest, I don't think they did a good job with Wrath of the Lich King. I think they botched Wrath of the Lich King in, in, in a few ways uh, that was very easily avoidable, but they're just so scared to do anything. I also think Wrath of the Lich King is just, just straight up not as good of an expansion as people remember it being. And I've thought that for a long time. I feel like it's like gonna be retail PVE and PVP and Wrath. Like the meta is gonna be to PVP and Wrath and then to retail PVE. Eltek, I'm telling you dude, Wrath is is very overrated of an expansion. Wrath was so fun, problem as Nax is boring. I'm not even joking. In January of this year, literally like 12 months ago, I was trying to tell people at Blizzard that you guys gotta do something about phase one of Wrath, man. I was like, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, people are going to get bored so fast. People are gonna get bored so, and like literally exactly what I said was gonna happen, happened. I mean, uh, wait, uh, par for the course. I mean, uh, everything I always say happens because I'm a genius. The truth is, is, it's just annoying when you say something and it's not acted upon and then you end up being right about it. I'm, I was memeing, but it, ha and it hasn't happened every time, but it has happened constantly throughout all of Classic WoW. Do you have ideas for Classic Plus? I really don't know what they should do with Classic Plus. Classic WoW is probably dead in about a year, unless they do a Classic Plus. I think if they do Cataclysm, it's gonna bomb. I don't think Cataclysm is gonna, I, I just don't think it's gonna last. I think the only thing that works is a Classic Plus, and I just don't think Blizzard's gonna wanna do it. What I think Blizzard should do, I think Blizzard 
should pull an EverQuest with WoW and essentially do what they did with Project 99 and have like an officially sanctioned group of people to run classic private servers and just put them in charge of it, just like EverQuest did with Project 99. And you know what? You know who used to work for EverQuest? Used to work on EverQuest whenever that happened? Who? Holly Longdale, chat. Holly Longdale used to work on EverQuest whenever they did the Project 99 deal. That's why I think Whenever it comes to, uh, whenever it comes to classic, I think unless they want to do a classic plus, chances are it's gonna bomb if they go cataclysm with it. I do think that they should figure something out and do essentially what they did whenever Holly was at EverQuest, Project 99, give it to a group of people who are gonna run a non non-profit, not for profit, whatever the proper terminology is, private server for classic. Rich, thank you for the raid. What's up, dude? We just finished the campaign with Bonnie. Oh my gosh. I was just, this is the most fun leveling in, in Retail WoW easily in the last 10 years, probably ever. This, I think you can make an argument that this is the best leveling ever. I don't know if it's gonna be good as an expansion as a whole, but the leveling so far has been really, really impressive. It's so obvious, like the inspiration they've taken from Classic and like, learning what they've learned. And I was saying this, my thing with Classic has always been this. There's people that are just gonna like Classic WoW better. There's gonna be people that like Vanilla, that like Burning Crusade, that like Wrath better than the current version of the game. And that's totally reasonable, it's totally justified, and I'm freaking the, the number one proponent of that. But the truth is, the number one thing that can come out of Classic WoW success is if they can learn from it and they can make retail better. The inspiration is is so clear. Like, there's so many, there's little things, dude. There's little things like seeing the guy turn into a raid boss, being able to interact with characters that you're going to fight later on, see them from a distance, like, oh shit, it's that guy. Think about Actheridon in uh, Blood Furnace. In Burning Crusade, when you go into the Rampart, or not the Ramparts, when you go into Hellfire, uh, Hellfire Citadel, you go into the Blood Furnace and you see Magtheridon from a distance, you see him locked down. It's like, who the hell is that? Well, that's a raid boss you're gonna fight eventually when you're a big boy. So it's like little stuff like that, like you you kind of like from a distance get to interact with a, with a raid boss or something. And it's like, damn, I wanna go kill that guy. Nefarian and UBRS, phenomenal example. When you walk in and you're doing- allow private servers to experiment with classic, create new classes, randomized content, etc. whatever they come up with. I really think they should they should pull a Project 99. But the Nefarian example is phenomenal. I remember, dude, you, you go into UBRS, you go into the Rend fight, and you're doing the gauntlet, and Nefarian is just sitting up there with his crown of destruction. He's got the look, dude. He's just sitting there menacing. He's got his Lokomir on him, sitting in the throne, just looking down. Damn, the boss of the second raid that you don't even know is going to exist yet because it's not in the game, but that's the last boss. That's the leader of the Black Dragonflight, as far as you know. Technically, he's the son, but it's like, that's the dude. All right, let's go. Chat, we did it. Now we play the game. Dude, so we did it. We made it to level 70 with Bonnie. We are gonna see Bonnie right off into the sunset. Happily ever after. Oh, ride, not run. I'm riding. Okay. Bye, Bonnie. Bye. You're free. Wait, let me wait. Okay, okay go I'm on. going on my merry way. Wait, right off that way. Ah! No, you're, you're riding off the wrong way. Okay. Here I go. Bye bye. Bye. You need to fly, fly this way. You know, this isn't going to work. <laughs> Here I go, I'm gonna fly away. Bye. I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying. Fly this way. Why is this so hard? <laughs> okay, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying. Oh, there she is, bye. Wait, you fell. <laughs> Did you fall? I died.